From humble beginnings, international rugby union has mushroomed into a sport played by men and women in more than 120 countries and with a playing population of over 8 million. It is a sport that returned to the Olympic movement five years ago via the seven-a-side game that Scotland bequeathed to the world. The rugby medal ceremony at the Rio Olympics, which I had the pleasure of doing, where Fiji were deserved winners in the men's competition, showed the extent of the geographic expansion and popularity of the game. The origins of international 15-a-side rugby are a source of great pride for everyone connected with Scottish rugby. And today, as patron of the Scottish Rugby Union, I join the celebrations of true sporting trailblazers. For on the afternoon of Monday, 27th of March, 1871, on the playing fields of Edinburgh Academicals at Raymond Place in the Stockbridge suburb of Edinburgh, the first international rugby match kicked off. It came about after five Scottish club captains, Alexander Robertson, Francis Moncrief, Benjamin Hall Blythe, John Arthur and John Oates, had issued a challenge via the press to English players. And thus, that first match, 150 years ago, pitted Scotland against England. Without their foresight, who knows whether or how international rugby might ever have taken off. Rather like the current Six Nations Championship, that first match was not without some issues, with debate around the grounding of the first international try scored by Scotland's Angus Buchanan. Scotland won the game, contested 20 aside by a goal and a try to a try. And 150 years on, Scotland were victorious when the countries met at Twickenham last month. Raven Place has also played a historic role in the development of the women's international game, hosting the first Scotland Women's International in 1993 and the Women's Rugby World Cup final a year later, where England lifted the silverware after a win against the United States. Today, as international rugby celebrates its 150th anniversary, let us remember the pioneers who masterminded that first game. Theirs is a wonderfully compelling legacy. And to mark the occasion, I'm delighted that Scottish rugby will induct those players from the 1871 Scotland team into its Hall of Fame. Timely recognition for unsung sporting innovators.